do is just watch you struggle. Is that right? Thank you. Help! Oh, it's come out. In this episode of the restroom, we'll be stripping the TVR and painting the chassis. The nut on the end of it's going to um, yeah, replace the old oh, gonna replace track rod end, I think. Okay. <laughs> do we need to do the same your end, or you? No, it should be pretty much pretty far end. No, we've both got independent steering. <laughs> That's why they're steering me. <laughs> Are you looking at my rack? <laughs> <laughs> nice rack, bro. One side of the suspension disassembled. Got your upper lower wishbone, your stow axle, and I've left the ball joints on that because they don't have any um, play in them and the rubbers all look good. And if I'm being honest, separating that looks like a massive pain in the ass. So the rubbers all look good, they look not too bad. Um, and yeah, I think I'm just gonna try and get the, the wishbones blasted paint them up. I'll probably just um, wire wheel the stub axle and then paint that up. And then the shock and spring. Ideally I'd like to get some height adjustable ones just so I can um, 
just lower it slightly because the, although the, the body and the sill is quite low to the ground, the arch gap on them is horrendous, so I'd like to get rid of that as much as possible. Um, and the brakes, I'm going to be replacing them anyway. Did some calipers with some uh, Fiesta ST ones, which are slightly bigger. Off the top of my head, I want to say they're 280 discs, and these ones are much smaller, I don't know, 250, say. But, yeah. <laughs> Now that all the various steering and suspension items have been removed, I can strip back the rusty bits of the chassis and then rust treat them, then prepare the chassis for painting. So after cleaning up the bits, the scabby bits here and there, I rust treated them and I just put on a coat of 2K epoxy, just brushed it on in on the bare metal areas uh, just to give it a bit extra protection. And then I think I've decided I might sort of stone chip from the firewall forwards just so when I do eventually top coat it, it will just look a bit, it will be easier to get a nicer finish rather than having brush marks all over it what would happen if I just brushed it straight onto this. Yeah, next up will be stone chip and then I'll probably top coat the whole lot so the outriggers as well um, and just do it all as a wanna so it's just done and then hopefully I can get the engine back in and then put the body down. I mean probably, probably put the engine in with the body down but it's, it's up so it makes life easier. <laughs> a bit more room on above the transmission tunnel area. Once the engine's in and the body down, that'll be a big job ticked off, so and then I can move on to all the suspension bits and pieces. When this particular stone chip dries, it goes from a grey colour to black. That way you know that it's dry. Now I can paint it racing red with just a 2K top coat. And that's it, the chassis is done as far as rust removal and painting is concerned. If you enjoyed the video, just give it a like and maybe subscribe to our channel to see all the other bits and pieces we're up to. And don't forget to find us on our socials at The Rust Room. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.